Hello humans, and welcome to a new episode of Down to Earth with Christian Harloff. I am covering for Christian today because he's currently out of town, so I'm doing a video in his stead. The topic we're going to cover today is about Lou Elizondo's book. I'm like about six or seven hours in out of ten hours. Uh, the book is very straightforward. It's very personal for Lou. Um, he clearly has the utmost respect for people like Dr. Hal Putoff. Uh, he leaves a lot of uh, thank yous to a lot of people who have supported him throughout this whole process. Uh, but one of the things that I feel it's more important and almost nobody's talking about is the fact that next Friday... He's going to talk to Ross Coulthart on News Nation. Why is this important, you ask? I will tell you, audience. I think, just picture it. Last year, in June, David Grush suddenly comes out of nowhere and starts spilling the beans. He, he says in, on cable television, non-human intelligence is real. Uh, we're not alone. There's a crash retrieval program. Uh, going on under our noses and the government is covering it up. So those revelations pushed for an audience and hearings in Congress alongside Commander Fravor and Ryan Graves. Those three people from the military and the intelligence community where uh, that picture is historic, first of all. It's, it made the, the 100 images of the Time magazine at the end of the year. And I think it was well deserved. And so now we cut to today. What is going on with Lou Elizondo? For some reason, he wasn't able to speak publicly as much as he used to. Apparently now something changed and he got to publish his book. The book was supposed to come out two years ago. And I don't know, a lot of things happened. Uh, I don't know the full extent of it. All I know is that he couldn't speak in public. Now he can, and he's talking. So he's coming out on News Nation with Ross Colhart. I'm going to leave you a little clip that they just uh, released that is very uh, straightforward. I thought it was pretty funny, too. I'm going to tell you why after I show you this clip. Here it is. Roswell, 1947. What happened? Roswell, 1947, there was a UAP that crashed. In fact, there were two UAP that crashed, and uh, one flew away while the other one did not and it was recovered by the US government. Allegations of a legacy UAP retrieval and reverse engineering program. The US government has had in the past and continues to have a very deep interest in UAP to include the potential and possibilities of recovering crashed UAP and reverse engineering them. We've been recovering spacecraft, alien spacecraft. The United States has been involved in the recovery of objects, vehicles of unknown origin that are neither from our country or any other foreign country that we're aware of. Alien bodies, biologics. We as a nation have been interested in not only the vehicles themselves, but the occupants of these vehicles to include biological specimens. Aliens, non-human intelligences are real and they have been engaging with humanity. Ross, we're not alone. We are not alone in this universe and it is a simple fact. And the US government has been aware of that fact now for decades. So the funny part here is that uh, Ross kept his same line of questioning just to get the gotcha moment, you know, like the he said it moment, you know, uh, kept repeating alien spacecraft, kept repeating non-human intelligence. And you can tell when Lou goes like, that's enough. <laughs> and he's like, Ross, we're not alone. <laughs> that was cool. That was funny. But in all seriousness, though, uh, besides that really funny bit that I thought uh, was worth mentioning, I think that Lou is coming out as a whistleblower. Because we've been talking about who's coming out officially as a whistleblower. We've seen Jason Sands come out on Twitter spaces. Other people who claim to be whistleblowers coming out on Twitter spaces too. Um, I think that Twitter is not the place to whistleblow. The best way to do it is the way Grush did it. And 
I know that Lou is promoting his book right now, but if you guys read the book, he talks about a lot of stuff that could be considered whistleblowing. He talks about companies that have been involved in this for decades. He talks about specific general, I mean, he talks about specific military people who are important to the issue. He reveals some stuff about DNA that wasn't known yet. There's a lot of a lot of stuff that is worth taking a look at. If you haven't bought the book, I want to leave the link in the description because I think it's one of the most well-rounded UFO books that there are. And there are many. This ranks really high, right next to, uh, not next to, but a little below Operation Trojan Horse or Passport to Magonia or other books that I consider essential. The Extraterrestrial Model is another uh, seminal book for the UFO topic. But I want you to please ask yourselves if Lou is going to come out as an official whistleblower. And if that happens, it means that more than likely he will sit in Congress and testify because he's already claimed that he has firsthand knowledge. And that's major. I mean, David Grush at the beginning didn't say he had firsthand knowledge, but then he subsequently told people that he did. He told Joe Rogan that he did. He told other people that he did. Uh, he said it at a conference too. Who knows what he's going to talk about in his op-ed. I would expect that he's going to talk about this first-hand knowledge that he has. And this op-ed is still undergoing the Dobser process. But going back to Lou, um, I know from uh, the source uh, from this information that there's another person who already went to News Nation and spoke to Ross Coulthard, who is not Lou Elizondo, and is going to talk in depth and in detail about USOs. This is what I'm hearing that it already happened. Um, so there's a third person uh, that is going on News Nation uh, besides Grush last year and besides Lou Elizondo, who is going to be on Friday. This third person, I don't know the name of. Uh, I do know that they already recorded the interview with Ross. I don't know what they're expecting. I guess that after the Lou Elizondo book uh, settles down a little bit after the interview, I would guess that they're going to roll out that interview, if they are. Because we already know what happened with the Reddit whistleblower who spoke to Ross Coulthard already. But it's highly unlikely that he will be featured on News Nation because, first of all, he came out and told his story on Reddit before News Nation aired it. And second of all, I'm guessing that if News Nation didn't uh, hurry up and release that interview, they probably had the reasons to not do it. Uh, meaning that probably there was like a long background check that was still ongoing this whistleblower got desperate they didn't air the interview so with Lou it's very different because he's already got a full book on it that is 10 hours long that reveals a lot of different details that granted uh, many of them had already been uh, talked about in different uh, settings but nothing this condensed and nothing this uh, clear from an a former Pentagon official. That is what matters from Lou Elizondo's book. That he used to be a Pentagon official and he has first-hand law knowledge, according to him. He is willing uh, to come out and talk about this in public. That's what matters of all this. I want you to please let us know in the comments if you think that Probably Lou Elizondo is going to come out officially as a whistleblower during that interview with Ross because he's saying some of the stuff that David Grush already said. And I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you think he's going to be the next whistleblower? Is this book and the Ross Colhart interview uh, Lou Elizondo's official coming out as a whistleblower? Let us know in the comments. I want to hear your, your thoughts on what you think about this. And please let us know how far along are you on the book? What do you think so far? What, what has piqued your interest the most? Let us know in the comments. 
please hit that subscribe button. We're past 30,000. The next goal is 50,000. So you, you guys can help us get there. Uh, if you guys like what you see, uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Share the content. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next Down to Earth with Christian Harloff or maybe me. Take care. There's nothing worse than looking at subscriptions that you paid for and forgot that you're paying for them. You sign up for some app. You go, oh, this looks fun. I'm going to do this for 30 days. And I'll, then I'm going to cancel it. And you don't cancel it. And then you're getting charged $9.99. 1099 and it goes up and up and up well rocket money can cancel subscriptions for you and that's exactly what it did for me it says look this is all the things that you're paying for and now you don't have to do it anymore because if you were to guess what do you think you're paying in subscriptions every month the answer is probably more than you think over 74 percent of people have subscriptions that they've forgotten about i did for sure and that was exactly what happened some cool app that i liked and i was like oh yeah i'm never going to use this again but i'll use it for 30 days and i didn't and i was getting charged for it for like three months most Americans think they spend around 62 per month on subscriptions, but the real number, 300 bucks. That is thousands of dollars a year, and you've all forgotten about it, and that's why I started using Rocket Money. So Rocket Money, to me, I use it for so many different things, whether it's canceled subscriptions, letting me know how much I've spent for the month, bills that I have upcoming, things that I need to do, my budgets. It's been a lifesaver. I absolutely love it. It's a personal finance app and it helps find that cancels the unwanted subscriptions It monitors your spending and it helps lower your bills so you can grow your savings. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and it saved a total of 500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions. Go to rocketmoney.com slash DTE. That's rocketmoney.com slash DTE. One more time, rocketmoney.com slash DTE.